Great. Hi there again. Uh, Scott from EdgeMath. Uh, I've got a couple of questions from a student about Venn diagrams and independence of probability. So uh, the basic concept we'll be using is if A and B are independent, then the probability of A intersect B, the probability of the both occurring is the product of each probability. So they, they don't they aren't dependent on each other, so the probability of the intersection it just comes from the probability of each of them. So um, and we got some questions uh, so suppose probability of A is 0.3 and the intersection is 0.15 and if A or and B are independent find probability of B. So this one's quick. You can just use that formula for independence. We're told probability A equals 0.3 and probability of A intersect B equals 0.15. So we put that in the formula. We get 0.15 equals 0.3 times probability of B. Then we divide that out. And that gives probability B is 0.5. Divide both sides by 0.3, and we get probability B is 0.15 over 0.3, which is 0.5. And two, uh, suppose probability of A is 0.5, and the probability of the union is 0.7. And we want to answer the same question, so we can use a Venn diagram here for two. Let's draw a circle representing A, one representing B, so A and B. Uh, we're told the total in A is 0.5, and the total in the union, so drawing, drawing a picture in A, that's A is 0.5, then the union is, let's draw that in green. Not A or B. The union is 0.7. And we want to know what probability of B must be if they're independent. So let's see. So let's do a calculation. Let's put this. If A is 0.5, but the total is 0.7, then that leaves 0.2 in just B. A has a total of 0.5, but that includes the intersection, and let's see, so the union is, union is 0.7, so it's outside of it is 0.3, and good. now if they're independent, let's see, let's write this out, probability of, if they're independent, the probability of the intersection is the probability of A, um, times the probability of B. So we're given probability of A is 0.5 times the probability of B. Hmm. Probability of B, that includes the 0.2 but plus the intersection. So B includes the 0.2 but also includes the intersection. So we get, if we let n be the intersection, or let's just keep it the same here. Uh, so probability of A intersect B, we get is 0.5 times 0.2 plus probability of A intersect B. And we can carry out that out a step further. So we get the probability of the intersection is 0.5 times 0.2 is 0.1. So we've got an algebra question here. So that's so we subtract. So we can subtract from both sides. Subtract this 0.5. So we subtract this from both sides. So we get probability of A intersect B minus 0.5 probability of A intersect B. That's that gives us 0.5 times probability of the intersection. 
so the probability of the intersection is dividing both sides, we get 0.2. So we've got 0.2 in the intersection here, typing that in. Let's start to see. So we've got 0.2 in the intersection, and that means A has 0.5 total, so there's going to be 0.3 in here. And we can double check. That means the probability, the total probability of A is 0.5. So A equals 0.5. B equals, there's 0.2 in the intersection, 0.2 just in B. That's 0.2 plus 0.2 equals 0.4. And then the probability of A intersects B is 0.2. That's the same as 0.5 times 0.4. Check. So we've done it right. And then uh, last question. Suppose A and B have the same probability, 0.6. If they're independent, find the union and the probability of the complement. So let me draw this out. Uh, so we've got that. Probability of A is 0.6. A, and that contains 0.6 in total. B contains 0.6. And B. And then we're told they're independent, so the, the probability of the intersection is just the product of those two, 0.6 times 0.6. And that's on the calculator, 0.36. We've got 0.36 in here. Uh, and that means we've got 0.6 total in this purple area, B. And 0.36 lies in the intersection, so that leaves 0.6 minus 0.36 equals 0.24. That's in B here. And then only in B. And then the same for A. So only in A is 0.24. So we've got the intersection, and let's see, so we've got it. So inside the union of A and B. That contains everything that's just in A, so 0.24, then everything that's in both A and B, and everything that's just in B, and that gives a total of 0.84, and that means the area outside, since the total area is 1, that leaves 0.16 outside, so probability of A complement intersection B complement. So everything outside of both A and B is 0.16. Great, hope that makes sense, and uh, hope you have a great day. Uh, Scott signing out.